Welcome to Summer Steam. Today we're going to have some fun with chemistry with fizzy moon rocks or as I call it summer snow. So first we need some baking soda, water, and white vinegar. You can also add to the water a little food coloring or glitter if you want to make it a little pizzazz. But we're going to stick with the regular white today. So we're going to first start with our solid which is baking soda. So you're going to put a little bit in. Okay, any indeterminate amount, there's no specific need. More is more fun because you get to play with it more. And then we're gonna add our liquid, which is plain neutral water. So let's add a little liquid. Okay, as we add liquid, you see it's getting kind of muddy. And we're gonna play with it. This is a nice sensory game they can play. And as you notice, the more the water, the more wet it is. Okay. So we made our first. That's a little slimy. So maybe I need to add more baking soda to make it a little more dry. Whoop, that's a lot better. I'm going to put my just made ones right here. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we take a neutral, which is water, a base, which is baking soda, and add a acid, which is white vinegar. But now I've already made pre-made little snowballs or fizzy moon rocks that I put in a freezer for about a half hour or an hour. Now let's see what the difference is between the one I just made and the ones that have been in the freezer. So let's see, put that right in the middle. Whoa, that is an amazing reaction. That's the acid reacting to the base. Now that was pretty quick. Let's try and see what happens with the freezer one. Not as quick, and that's kind of cool. <laughs> now what's great about this reaction is that not only can you feel it, you can even taste it, but you can also smell it because when you mix the acid with the solid, it actually releases carbon dioxide, which is a gas. So you have all three states of matter. Solid, baking soda, liquid, and now the gas, as you can see in the bubbles. So sight, touch, smell, and even possibly taste. So I would be tasting them. Let's try this one. <laughs> now I would put these in, you can see it's messy, put these in baking pans. I have these leftover Chinese food dishes. There you go. And you can even put colors, red, white, and blue for 4th of July or green and purple for Mardi Gras. There you go. Any day of the year, any theme, in any color.